Hello everybody, I am DeGroot. Welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, we are getting ready to take on our final base for the Team Star. Uh, I've accidentally enter, entered the cutscene for it, so I kind of was going around hunting some Pokemon around there. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I have to switch out one Pokemon from my group, but otherwise I'm pretty much ready. Everybody's at 48. So it should be ready. So here we go. I see you're almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside there is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, DeGroot. Your service to your country. DeGroot, Cassiopeia. Hey, so you made it. Oh, so you made it as well, Clive. Of course. It's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. And you too are our service to your country. I'm sorry I was so wary of you at first. Well, that's all water under the bridge. Or in the ocean as we're standing next to it. When we're finished with the base, what will be the end? Uh, see, will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? Not quite. We'll still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind last of all. Oh. Do we need any leads? Uh, oh, the Bukalamaka. Do we have any leads on how to find them? I'm hoping they'll come out in the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. I see. We've come so far. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I, I, it's such low-hanging fruit. Only a few, only a few more steps left. Don't let me down, either of you. Oh no, I don't want to let him down. Gosh, your pee is hung up. All right. Thanks to you, Deglute, I've slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do, and I know what my final decision would be: to not expel them because they're actually not bad people. They're actually good people trying to help. Other good people who are treated bad by bad people? Yeah, I think that makes sense. For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care in that base, Master De Groot. Ah, sorry for getting all polite there. Don't know what came over me. Perhaps it's because I'm actually gravel! <laughs> okay. Alright, so I said I'd have a Charizard by now, but I'm a couple levels short. But I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Let me get my last member of the crew out real fast. So we're going to lead with uh, Reverum. Oh, yeah. By the way, say hello to my Reverum. <laughs> I happen to have two of uh, the uh, under-evolved ones. The oh, jeez. I'm not even going to try and remember what it's called. And this one had a plus on attack, so I was like, oop, that's the one. That's the good one. And then so we're going to be doing that, and then poison, 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 poison. And of course, Toxapex is around, just in case we need her. She can go in there and be the tank that she is. All right, so that's what we're going to use for our battles. The front door is that away. Who's in front there? Let's find out. I will return later when it is time for the young master's piano lesson. Until then, please give him my regards. Oh, he must be the... Referring to the fairy type leader guy. Yes, Mr. Harrington. Hmm. Oh no, I have a bad record with old guys. They kick my anus square with the tip of their shoe. And who might you be, young man? A friend of... Young, the young master, perhaps? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew. The Rukba. Rukba. Alright. Rukba squad led by young Master Ortega. Uh, Mr. Har Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea to, as to whom this young man might be? He's no friend of ours. You know, I think he might be here to try and take us on. 
Oh, understood. In that case, I take it you're an ad adversary of the young master. I guess that follows. Is that so? Well, then that leaves me one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Um, I don't think I have a choice, so I'll just go for it. Yeah, sure. Splendid, let us begin. Alright, hopefully you're, you know, on par with everybody else to throw out a fairy type. <laughs> yeah. Hi. What we got, 48? Alright, we're on par with each other. Nice. Headbutt. Oh, it's setting up. It's raising its special attack. It's unconscious. A lot of good that did it, eh? <laughs> Patrim. Mmm, psychic. It's good music, man. I'm enjoying it. Alright, Skilladurge. Go get him, my child. Shadow Ball. Oh! Look out for the extremely slow moving ball of death. No! It ought to be a little bit faster, but <laughs> that's my only gripe about it. It's just, it looks slow. It's getting chilly down here, actually. An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Master Ortega's battle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. Well, I'm guessing his are evolved versions of yours. Now, if you excuse me, hasta, oh, shit. Hasta la vista. <laughs> I thought he was going to say it. I'm like, oh, okay. That gentlemanly, gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I I think. At least that's what I heard. Hmm. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting that you're here to make trouble, so I gotta go let everyone know. Alright. Hasta la vista! Uh, and yeah, do thing. Oh, that doesn't matter. Doesn't bother me. Oh, phone call. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to Team Star's ferry crew, the Ruchba Squad. Ugh, it's hard to say. Their boss Ortega is the mechanic of the team. Ah, oh, he may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead from the back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. Let me guess, if I beat 30 of his grunts, well, then, um, yeah. in terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up and go from there. Read the bell, yes, I, I'm well aware, come on. Yeah, wipe them off the map. Here we go. Let's go and let's do it. All right, I think I got my three I want up front. Bam, bam, bam. Here, the clock tire's a bit slow, but it'll be all right. Yes, I am. Ding, ding, ding. It's time for the final battle. Even the smallest stars can light up in the sky when the shine together is constellations. We're the last bastion of Team Star. Losing isn't an option. Hey kid, you listening? If you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, we'll call the boss out to deal with you. How's that for hospitality? It's uh, the same. Okay, so where's my enemies going to be? They're on the right. Oh, I see them everywhere. Holy cow, we got Jigglypuff. Uh. Uh. Where are you going, Tazakroak? Over here. 
Ugh. Ow. Don't you have a poison type? Oh, it's also steel typing. Ah! That doesn't help. Ooh! There's the whole line. I have two of those. Tatsukuro, give a helping hand, please. Thank you. Go get him, Reveroom. You got it. You got it. Hey, we got some more guys over here. Aha! Oh, it's the little doggies. Not the little doggies. Um, yeah, you. Oh, shoot. I don't have a fighting type move. That's going to be troublesome. Oh, got some more... More Gardevoir and Curly over here. Ah, we're doing all right. Fido. All right, just need a few more. Here we go. Azumarill. Oh, that's rough. That's rough for me. But ah, he's all right though. That'll do it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now time to get my head caved in, probably. <laughs> Our defense is a breach. It's all up to the boss now. All right, last time doing this. All right, I learned my lesson. The stupid car is going to be the same typing as everything else, so it will be a fairy type. Although I wonder if it'll be fairy steel. Which should be kind of frustrating. Because that means the poison is probably going to be neutral or non effective. I don't know. Huh. So you're the Groot. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose you anyway. <laughs> if you think fairy tights are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. I can't tell if I was French or Hispanic on that one. I... Whatever, I'll make it work. Oh, he's a fancy lad. He's a fancy boy with his cane. Azumarill. Reverum, go. It's a fairy water type. You could do this. I promise to play nice, so don't blame me when your battle sent you blubbery back home. <laughs> All right, uh, poison jab. Bajow. Only a couple levels higher than me, so this isn't too bad. Boom! Oh, and the poison? Nice! Man. Oopsie, did I just realize how match you are? If you're gonna give up, now's the time. Says the man whose Pokemon's about to die. Um... I'm gonna let the poison finish you off. I don't know what I'm doing. I could have just attacked, but eh, the poison will do the job. Oh, good. My attack fell. Not good. I'm trying to be strategic. I, 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 I you know, these things. Dodge spun. Ooh, there's a, is there a third level to that thing or? No. Okay. Um. You know what? Wait. <sighs> I'm, I'm like. Second guessing myself at every corner here. No, okay, I've seen it. I've seen it. I right, still got two left, including the car. The car is not going to get affected by the spikes, but at least the next one. Just in case the next one's rough. You know what I mean? Actually, it would be kind of effective if you had something that made him run away.
Hey, don't worry about it, doggo. I'm just setting up for your next partner. Ow! Which, by the way, pretty sure this is special. So, lowering my attack. Didn't do it. <laughs> Uno mas. Ow! Now I can stall if I wanted to. So I assume whatever is coming out next, Wigglytuff. Oh no! Yeah, I'm I'm glad I set up spikes. Jeez, this thing's a tank. Aha! You are poisoned, and I have Venishock. But first things first. Time to recover. Oh dear. Ooh. That hurt. All right. Probably do one more. Still ow. Toxapex, you are awesome. I just... I know I've said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Oi! Ow! Not the paralyze! Boom! Well, that's unfortunately annoying. Hmm. Yee yee! Alright, so... What the heck? My demon's on the ropes? That's totally not fair! Hmm... Alright. Oh, shoot. I don't even get a choice in the matter. Alright. Alright. Shoot. All right, all right, all right, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's annoying. I want an even playing field. Come on, let's let's have an even playing field. Let's make this fun. Let's make it interesting. No paralyze. Although, if you use that one move, that'd be annoying. Ah, uh, hey, confusion. Hmm. Come on, Toxapex, you can do it. Magical Torque. Interesting. Come on, you got this. Yeah! Come on, poison. Okay. Aha! Had a girl. Boom. Poison. Dang. Now it's just a battle of tanks. No, don't confuse Ray, you cheeky little monkey. Come on, you got this, Tox. Get him. Get him. Yes! Toxapex, you are the bomb. Man, can you do it again? Yeah! Ooh, I only got two of these left. Shoot. Alright, still confused. Woo! MVP! Time to recover. Because I'm gonna need some, uh. Eight, ooh. Still confused. Damn it. Alright, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, man. It's okay. We're okay. She's got this. Because I'm gonna have to use. Ah, very good. Probably gonna end up using the water move here in a second. Because I'm gonna run out. One more time. Do not confuse. You! You! Come 
Come on, you got it, Tox. Yeah! All right, all right, we're back, we're back. Health restored. Boom. Okay, last one of these I got. I would love it if you snapped out of confusion. Oh well. Yeah! Almost there. Alright, liquidation. Dang it. Confuse Ray sucks, man. Oh! Only hit herself once so far. Alright, snap out of it and finish him off. This is going really well. Yeah! A girl, finish him. Yes, Toxapex. MVP, 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 MVP. Heck yeah, man. I don't know why I ever take her out of the party. <laughs> I like her. I like her a lot. I'd like her even better if her skills were in a different spot. Ugh, how could I lose? What the heck? Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. About a year and a half ago. Ugh, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile. And I was up all night building it. The problem is clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed that thing to be powered by two Charcadet, but it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see. Oh wait, she hasn't. This is pre-steroids. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks of our, on our bullies' faces when they got when we got it moving. Oh, I can't talk very well. I'm sorry. I really thought it would work. Come on, good fellow. Tis no occasion for melancholy. Why to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand? Genius. Thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well. There's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all the effort would have zero payout and had just asked Mother to buy a car for us. He's a rich boy. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say stupid things, you know that? Huh? Mila, cool it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code, for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we sort of quit relying on our parents, our bags of cash, to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? Hmm. If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Molly. Molly. <laughs> Do you have an actual plan? Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna goose step over here, and I'm gonna train up my Char Cadet and have them evolve. Their boost of firepower will get the Starmobile moving no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. No way, wait! Hmm. You know, Mela shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, this sucks. It sucks, indeed. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I cannot get over the how awesome you were in that battle. I know, Toxapex was awesome. Awesome! Yes, definitely. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against... Our code would make me a traitor to the team. Ah, fine. Not like I have a choice anyway. So take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. I'm going to put it right here on my lapel. I'm just going to do 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 And then I'm going to look at it and go, hey look, I kicked her butts. Well, this one I kicked it, but I kicked it, but she kicked my butt, you know, the first time. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM2. Be free to marvel at how awesome it is. Oh, Dazzling Gleam. That's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. I, you know, it's a good one. It's good. It's good. It's good. 
And just so you know, you are the worst. Like the most annoying person ever. But I get it, you're super strong. I admit it much. You even busted up my star mobile. I did it like five times, man. I broke all of them. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it, as it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. Uh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay. What's your business here? I want to tell you something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you just met. Well, my answer's the same as everyone else in this team. It's because I was being bullied. So the Academy really did use to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess right? The schoolies are rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then... Ah. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the Academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the Academy, I believe I am best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the two groups. Yeah. yeah. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another, and then they went to Kanto and became Team Star, and that was the end of it. Or not Star. Ah, Rocket! I'm stupid. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to riff. But, but there aren't any records of that anywhere at the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No. No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. They assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad? I would study abroad for the eternity, because they're hot. <laughs> Suck it, your back! This is not uh, this is not what I intended as a pun this was not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Gala region. Hmm, Gala region, you say? Under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing. That's terrible. Was it Cassiopeia? Was he deleting? He's a hacker. Or she. We don't know yet. After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. I threw him into the incinerator. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent the terrible act also represented a, bra a grave blunder on our part. That was a blunder. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. Jeez. Mass... L quitting. Resignation. There's the word I was looking for. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Well, I did get him a job, so I don't think he's complaining that much. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to start... Uh, Chart a better course. I thought that was a typo for a second. But there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Now not that we've come this far. I guess it's a good thing I picked this one last. 
Your friends at Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the world. Aww, so sweet. So sweet! Team Star is okay. They're a little outlandish, a little flamboyant for my taste, but they're okay. Cassiopeia, you got some explaining to do, sir and or madam. Degrude, it's me. I don't know why I said your name with the Scottish accent just then, but just pretend it didn't happen, okay? All right. Did you do it? Did you claim or take a star badge? Yeah, I did. With its boss no longer around, the Rukba squad is as good as finished. So Ortega was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long, now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should be back attending classes at the academy. Ah, uh, that. Okay, so maybe you're not the bad person after all. Nice work out there, De Groot. Is that Clive here? Cassiopeia, well done to you too. Thanks. Now about your reward, De Groot. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone. As promised. 20 G's! Hell <laughs> yeah! Buy some Pokeballs and potions. Woohoo! I haven't looked in a while. I gotta see what I can make. Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed. You could go ahead and give D his reward now. What? Where's Penny? Aw, Coriton's gonna be sad that he didn't get to see her. Thanks. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. I mean, where? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is me. Yeah, yeah, not a big surprise. It's none other than me. Ah, this is my pretend surprise face. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. You've got, they've got to give it up. So I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. I mean, it made the most sense. The Groot, I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Uh, I mean, understood. Then I'll see you both there. Mmm. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible. I kind of figured it from the beginning, but I mean, but with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. Is it Penny? It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. I, I, I lost it there at the end. It just my brain has no idea where it went. Okay, so. Okay, we got that to do then. That's exciting. Um, ding ling. Oh, Espeon. Oh, I want Espeon. I want to catch one. All right, so we got two gyms left. We got that, and then we have to face Arvin. Boy, ghost type? I feel like I could take ghost type. But I also feel like I could probably take the Ice Badge as well. Sub-Zero Shredder. She looks too cute to be that mean. Oh, it's not nighttime, so we can't really go for that. Oh, well, I guess we're going to go Ice. Alright. Let's go and get another thing. We're steamrolling, baby. Heal up. Okay, so let's see. Ice type, I need fighting. Fire. I think ground is effective again. No. No, it's the other way around. Alright, so fighting would be good. 
Thank you. Okay, so Skeldridge, you are probably our leader here. Uh, Toxicroak. We're gonna need a fighting move. All right, you don't have one. All right. Claude Sire, you can't come. Hmm, I really need to up your levels. Rev of Broom. Maybe not. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Anyways, all right. Uh, I'm gonna do a little off-screen work, picking my team, and also maybe leveling up a little, and then we will get right back to it. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, so here we go. I have done some levels. I got my Charizard up to level 48. Got his name on there. Flint is official, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go see what this gym is all about. Aha! Okay. Nothing going on here. Nobody really around here. I mean, where is everyone? Ah, Nimona. Oh, shoot. Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on gym badge number six. Not even a tenth of the trainers who take on the gym get this far, you know. But I'm not surprised that you made it. I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. I mean, it's not my devilish good looks. Thanks. Oh, please, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym, huh? Come on, you know the drill by now. I don't get a choice in the matter. All right, well, Toxapex is out front, so I get to set up. Ta -ta -ta -ta. I don't know what that means. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Yeah, here's our battle court for today. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Always important to check what environment your Pokemon will be battling in. The battlefield can have these teeny effects on your Pokemon's balance and stuff, you know. Anyway, sort of. Sorry, I sort of dragged you here. But a little pre-gym warming up should do you good. Now come on, Degroot, let's have a fruitful battle. Well, I know I could take one of her Pokemon, for sure. <laughs> I got like three fire types. Maybe I like two and a half. I don't know. Alright, Nimona, let's do it. Lycanroc! Rock type. How unfortunate for you! Show me the battle skills that got you six badges. Okay. Ow, you're setting up, you jerk. Lucky for me, I'm very tanky. One more of those. Ouch. Oh, you made me flinch. That's not cool. Alright, there's that. Alright. Liquidation. Hey, cut it out. A hole. Oh, I'm so. Oh, you. You're in trouble, son. Hey, what level was that? I didn't even look. That's dumb, but you're not the only one who can hit hard when it counts. Alright. I didn't even look at what level. I might be overpowered, for all I know. I mean, I hope I'm overpowered, for God's sake. Poison jab? Ooh. I don't think you're a physical attack, are you? Oh yeah, you are. You are. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm. Venishock, when poisoned, does 130. Poison jab does 80. And I also get 20 of them. Arrgh! I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, ah, shoot. Yeah, let's hold out. Just because... Or let's go ahead and use it. Because usually they're not poison when they... When, oh, well. That's alright. Um, yes. 
All right, so we got electric, so we need somebody with the ground move. I mean, I'm still kind of prepared for her, so that's cool. Oh no, what happened? And then goodbye. Oh, I'm a few levels ahead of her, so that's good. I think that's a good sign for the gym battle. I shouldn't have, hopefully, too many issues. Goodbye! Well done. Good job, Tatsukroak. Might have to give you guys some nicknames soon. Alright, Slagoo, so we're looking at dragon typing. Time for Flint to show off. Go get him, Flint. The poison! I am a genius! Oh yeah! That's the thrill of battles. You never know what's gonna happen next. Alright. I'm not dragon type, but ow still. Let the poison take you. And... yeah, I got 20 of them. Well done, Flinty, me boy! That's my boy. Ah, oh, man. I said at the beginning of this series, if I could get a Charizard, <laughs> I would be so happy. Um... Man, we gotta go starter for starter. Good job, pal. Training attacks at the break, winning and losing gives me chills. Let's see who gets the win. I'm all gonna win, baby. I'd like to send this one out to all the lovely ladies out there. This song's for you. Here comes our fun part. Time to make this terror orb shine. Agreed. I shall do the same. Epper. It's even more grass type. <laughs> Which makes what's about to happen even more brutal. Ready. This move is gonna hit you with the force of all my training. You know, if you don't go first. Ooh, flower trick. What does that do? Oh yeah, you do this, and it's like, ugh. Yeah, didn't work. Didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. Yeah. See ya. I still need to evolve one of those. I have all the starters now, thanks to the trading. Yeehaw! Ooh, don't you level up! Not yet. I knew I was right to believe in you. Somebody's got a crush. Somebody's got a crush. <laughs> That's an L for me. Man, you've gotten so good. I think that should be enough of a warm-up. You and your Pokemon should be all set now. Here, take these as thanks for the battle. Ooh, max potions. Thank you. There's two gems remaining. Then all that'll be left is to try out to be a champion. Give it all you got. Now let's get you back to the gym lobby. I assume you're going to heal my Pokemon. 
E. Ye. Okay. Well, because of the impromptu match, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here, and then we'll start the next episode with presumably my last two gym badges. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I may go do the uh, final battle against the Team Star boss. I don't know. Play it by ear. Let me go ahead and hit save. I don't know if I did already. So, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like it. Well, be sure to show it by hitting like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, it's a long series, but I'm having a blast. Uh, it was a little, little bumpy early on. Well, actually, no, early it was fine. It was in the middle that was bumpy. But I'm really starting to enjoy myself now. I got my Flinty Boy. I got my Charizard. So I'm, I'm, I'm living on cloud nine. So, yeah. Stick around, and uh, we'll see if we can become a champion together. Thanks again, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, see ya. Bye-bye.